And a pipeline coming to Hampton Roads has people thinking about gas line accidents across the country. Tonight, we spoke with people who say there could also be explosions in busy city neighborhoods in Norfolk and Chesapeake. Thanks for watching tonight. I'm Jacqueline Lee. The 757 Pipeline Safety Coalition held a town hall tonight. Megan Perrier has our continuing coverage. Megan. Jack and locals and experts came to voice their concerns tonight. Both say they're scared for the future of the Southside Pipeline. Southside Connector Distribution Pipeline spans between Chesapeake and Norfolk. Maps show it runs between churches, schools, medical facilities, and homes, like the one belonging to Kimberly Bray. I'm concerned about the impact that, that this pipeline is going to have. I'm right on the, the trail. But Bray didn't even know that until last week. I guess Virginia Natural Gas is saying that they're being misrepresented and um, that there's misinformation out there. So Bray went to the 757 Pipeline Safety Coalition in Norfolk Sunday night to hear from experts on the issue. The logic of what they're presenting it appears to be very illogical, if not downright dangerous. President of Accufax gas expert Richard Kruperwicks explains his concerns with having a pipeline run straight through the city. But more likely, if you got buildings, you got people. So it's it's kind of inferred that there's built there's people density around the pipeline. Kruperwicks is worried about having a pipeline near a large population, considering what would happen if it explodes. It's probably going to fail at a high pressure, meaning houses some distance away. That's heat rate. Extremely high. According to Virginia Natural Gas, the pipeline is 24 inches and runs for nine miles, buried at three feet underground. And right now, it's three quarters of the way done. It's scary to know that, you know, there are real live repercussions and, and death could could come from this. Bree says after learning more in the meeting, she's scared for her family. The same thing could happen to us. You know, my son's school, we live right on. The and now, Bray just hopes the city council is open to listening to her voice when they discuss the pipeline. I most definitely will be there. Um, I hope that they're willing to genuinely hear our concerns. We reached out to Virginia Natural Gas tonight. A spokesperson tells us, in part, ensuring the safety of every family we serve is our highest priority. The Southside Connector is necessary to ensure that we can continue delivering gas to keep homes and businesses warm on the coldest winter days. Now, if you decide you want to voice your opinion, Norfolk City Council is set to discuss the pipeline at City Hall on November 20th. I'm Megan Perrier, 13 News Now. Thank you, Megan. Now let's take a closer look at other pipelines in our area. Part of the Atlantic Coast Pipeline is supposed to run through Suffolk and end in Chesapeake. Workers already started clearing trees in the Shenandoah Valley. Protesters say it will ruin the environment throughout the state, including protected forests. Pipeline officials, however, say they're following all regulations. But the pipeline just hit a road bump. A federal court put it on pause this week. Now, the company needs to apply for another permit to build under a stream. They have to prove they can complete the work across the water in 72 hours without stopping fish from moving upstream or downstream. Dominion Energy and other companies are running this line from northern West Virginia through the Commonwealth and into North Carolina. And the Mountain Valley Pipeline also wants to move into the Tar Heel State. They just submitted a new request to extend their line into North Carolina. It would run into Alamance County near Greensboro. Mountain Valley wants to start construction in 2020. Right now, the line is set to end in Pennsylvania County in western Virginia.